Hello everyone, this is Bullion from Bullion Academy. Welcome to my YouTube channel once again. And you know in my YouTube channel here, all I do here is to show you my earnings proof and my students' earnings proof and reviews uh, on my AdSense loading masterclass and method. You understand? So, if you're reading into AdSense loading or you are into uh, AdSense arbitrage, uh, do well to subscribe this subscribe to this YouTube channel and uh, turn the notification button so that anytime I post or uh, upload new videos you'll be among the first viewers uh, so in this video I'm going to show you the five top five AdSense loading tips for 2024 all right they are going to give you the best tips the top five AdSense loading method tips for 2024 so watch this video to the end if you're having issues with access loading if you have issues with your account getting banned if you're having issues with uh cpc issues or whatever whatever deductions this is what i'm going to help you and by the end of this video you are going to learn five helpful tips for access loading all right and by this bullion from bullion academy so i won't want to waste a lot of time on this video do what to watch this video to the end and uh, share this video and like all right so i'm giving out five free tips for you all watch this video to the end so let's get started the top five access loading method tips for this all right number one the first tip uh is understanding access policies all right this is a very simple uh, and very important thing tip you have to understand first if you're into adsense loading you have to understand the crucial adsense policies you want to violate any of the adsense policy as a google publisher so you won't have issues with your account all right so what are the uh, common uh, policies you should know that you should not copyright you should not uh, write uh, other people's content that is uh, plagiarism you understand you don't have to write other people's content you don't have to send invalid traffic you don't have to tell people to go to your website and click on ads you don't have to uh embed ads in uh links or in any way that will trick your viewers all right any way that will trick your viewers to click on ad all these things violate access policies Number one, telling people to, to go in to your website and click add. That is very wrong. You are going to get charged for that. A lot of you that pay third uh, party website where people will come in and do tax on your website, it will get your AdSense account banned. It's against the AdSense policy. Secondly, is using people's content. All right, you can use AI and AI will give you high uh, plagiarized uh, content. It's only if you know how to write blog blog post with AI. Maybe in my next video, I will drop uh, how to. I'll make a video and give to you guys for free on how to write good contents with AI without uh, without your contents or your post being down, uh, flagged down by Google. You understand? Because they will know it is AI and most AI contents are already plagiarized because a lot of people use AI. So I'll give you the best video. Next time, if I'm dropping the next video, I'll drop a video on how to use AI and create your content. All right? So now, you have to understand AdSense policies. All right, so, so I will have to show you one of my one of my AdSense account, okay? That violated the AdSense policies and now tell the reason why they disabled the account. All right? So, you can see here violations found the ads and you can see most of the uh if you come down and read this thing through you see that this is due to content you understand stealing people intellectual property you know that is copying other people's posts or using ai to generate, generate your blog uh post that is why your accounts will be banned one of the reasons okay so this is one of the access accounts that has been banned and the reason here is because of copied contents from others. Watch from here. Copy contents from others without additional commentary or creation or otherwise adding value to your content. This is the reason they close this account. So if you have a blog, you have to make sure that your contents are not copied from others. That your contents are authentic and offers value. 
that way you won't have any issue with google adsense these are the common reasons they close account understanding the adsense policy all right and uh, coming in adsense loading i know most of adsense for loading might violate a lot of people that promise you adsense loading might violate the method might violate google adsense policies and that is why you're having problem with your account but i keep on saying in my account uh in this in my videos that my method does not violate any adsense policies and uh, most importantly it does not cause harm to your uh, the advertisers on google so my method is very safe and i do not promote any illegal or harmful contents to my viewers so you have to be careful with this understanding the adsense policy so now another reason the tip two so the second tip I'm going to give you guys here is how to increase your AdSense CPC. Okay? It's how to increase your AdSense CPC and the factors that will help increase your AdSense CPC. All right. I'll help you with this. A lot of you that is into AdSense loading, uh, with the method, whatever method you are using, you notice that uh, each time you have a low CPC and they are looking for a way which will help you increase your CPC. And I believe um, most of you have uh, my subscribers or you go to my channel, you see a lot of my earnings here or my student earnings proof having a high CPC that seems unbelievable. You know, you can see this video here of $9 CPC. You can see from the thumbnail here is $6 CPC. All right. So you notice I have a high CPC. So I'm here to show you the trick and the tip on how to increase your AdSense CPC totally for free so do well to watch this video to the end you will understand a lot of things so coming back here the factors which will increase your ascent cpc are number one the countries on which your traffic is coming from you know the countries in which your traffic is coming from secondly is the behavior the side behavior um the behavior on which your viewers your readers behave on your website it is one of the factors which will also help increase your cpc you understand when your website uh, viewers or visitors keep on coming to your website and having a high bounce rate and that's why um most of the most of the time your ctr is high if your ctr is high your cpc can never be high so it works in both way so i'll show you my google adsense account here i brought it out in this video for the, this context of this video you can see from here this is my google adsense account you can see today so far i've made over 680 dollars today and yesterday i made 1500 dollars as of yesterday on this account and this account i just started on it started working on it um uh, not less than not more than four days ago you understand not more than four days and you can see in this month i made 2500 dollars all right and the last payment on this account is just 230 dollars so let me come down to what I want to show you guys. You can see from here I have a CPC of $14 CPC, which is unbelievable. Unbelievable. But if you look at this CPC and look at this CTR, you see that my CTR is very low. I maintained my CTR. And that is why my CPC is high. The reasons is because most country my traffic is coming from is tier one countries. And secondly, the behavior on which the visitors behave on my website. And most of them read my articles, uh, read more articles before they click on add. And that's the reason my CPC is very high. Okay? So you might say that your CPC, if you're into AdSense loading, you might say that your uh, CPC is high, and uh, your CPC is high depending on the niche of your website. Oh yes, it is dependent on the niche of your website, but it's not totally dependent on it. You know, there's other factors, like I said, the country on which your traffic is coming from. Secondly, and very importantly, the behavior on which your visitors behave on your website, the way and uh, the time they spend on your website before they click on add. These are the factors which will increase your CPC. Then secondly, thirdly, uh, a website that is on music niche or whatever niche or all these low CPC niche based websites can still have a high CPC. All right, I can remember one time as of uh, after I did partnership with somebody, the guy website was in music niche. But when I was start, when I started working on his account, he has over five dollar, six dollar, nine dollar CPC. You understand? And the reason is what I'm about to tell you guys now. Okay, so I'm going to refresh this dashboard 
first of all so you believe that this is not uh, edited and this is not scripted so i will try and refresh this for you now click in here and refresh this page so you can see this account i've refreshed it you can see from here and uh, this okay you can see for yourself here okay so coming back here uh, how to increase your AdSense CPC and the factor that will help increase your CPC. Uh, most importantly, okay, we talked of niche, website niche, all right? It is a good, important factor also, but not 100% uh, guarantee that your CPC will increase if you are only dependent on your website niche, okay? Like I said, the behavior uh, your visitors behavior on your website also increase your cpc or reduce your cpc all right when i mean by this i mean the time spent on the web pages you know on the ad pages also we also increase your adsense cpc so whatever loading you are doing you should complicate this and make sure that the time spent on each of your web pages and ad showing on the pages and the ad page itself the time spent should be a very long uh, minute. You understand? So you should. These are the factors also that will help increase your CPC. Another factor is the traffic country, the source is it is coming from. And uh, this method here, this account you are seeing here, I use the my quiz method to achieve this. And if you go to my YouTube channel, you see a lot of videos on the internet cookies uh, about internet cookies. If you go to my videos, this particular video. You see, I talk about my internet cookies. Okay, if I scroll down a little bit down, you see it here. This video here about internet cookies, Google AdSense update on cookies. You can check my cookies method. All right, and this is the cookies method I used. I have an updated cookies method for those of you that are already my students. You can contact me to get the method. And you can see from here the fourteen dollar CPC. And the maintain CTR rate as a factor that will increase your CPC. So going back to going to uh, going to the next tip, it is uh, how proxy can affect your method. A lot of you use proxy which are not safe, you know. And there are two. Uh, there are different types of proxy. They have the data center proxy, they have residential proxy, and have dedicated proxy. Now using these proxies, the one thing the difference between these uh, proxies are very very massive because. Some of the proxy you might use it and you get your account banned and google will send you a mail like this that your your account has been disabled due to invalid traffic the reason for that invalid traffic is because maybe the ips the proxy provider is giving you is already blacklisted and that is why google will see it and say this is invalid traffic and when google see that they are using proxy also they will know that's why a lot of you that use a proxy data center proxy have issues by having this kind of problem invalid traffic and maybe some residential proxy you will still have issues because a lot of proxy providers will sell you data center proxy in the sense of residential and if you possess that kind of proxy you are going to get your account bound or they're going to detect that is an invalid traffic so you can check the comment section you can drop the the proxy provider you are using and i'll tell you save or not i will tell you whether you save or not so you can drop the proxy, uh, proxy provider that you use in the comment section and I'll tell you whether it's safe or not. Alright, so check the comment section of this video and know which proxy provider that is safe to use. Alright, and the best proxy to use, uh, regardless from uh, uh, even the uh, uh, best proxy to use so far you're getting from a trusted proxy provider is the dedicated proxy. And this data is quite expensive because it's not that really affordable. But if you're, rather, if you're making a good amount of money from your loading, from access loading method, you can, you can, you can afford it. You understand? So the dedicated process is the best project to use. Okay. So going to the next tip, uh, which is final, uh, which is the fourth tip. Sorry, is smart earnings management safeguarding your AdSense account. So this is very important. A lot of people allow greed to overtake them. When you have an AdSense account, because you have the knowledge uh, and you control your earnings, that should not be the reason you should put too much money, massive money to your AdSense account that you, you wish you know you have, the, have not 
gotten any uh, payment uh, history, you groom your account. This particular account here that I got for partnership is a particular guy account. You see, the last payment he received is just $230. All right, and I think I have received payment three times, but not on, none of his payments is over $500. But he due to his payment history, that's why I'm going to load this account 3000 to 4000 I'm not going to surpass 4000 on this AdSense account you are seeing here. That is because I have my earnings management. I know when and how much to load and how much not to load into an account. For example, a fresh access account that has not received any payment that is unverified, you should not load more than 2000 in that account. All right, if you go to my video here, this recent video on which my student gave, this three days ago video, if you listen to what he said, I told him he should stop till he gets this account verified before he continues loading much money again. So you should be very mindful of this tip of this uh, smart earnings management you have to safeguard your account because you might be doing everything right but google will detect that this earnings is, is it is strange for a new account like this to get uh, massive earnings and if you check my videos here go to my videos the account that pay me fifty thousand dollars it has a good payment history okay so i think in this video let me scroll down so you see that in one of this video, I showed you guys my uh, AdSense history on one of my AdSense accounts, okay? The AdSense history, the transaction history, you can check my other videos and you see that most of my last payment and the ones I go and uh, I went to show my payment history, okay? Uh, it has massive earnings. You see how I started grooming them from 1000 2000 3000 21000 14000 13000 dollars I didn't just wake up one morning and put twenty thousand dollars in an account. I have to groom it. So I have to take time and work on that account before I uh, make uh, a massive money on it. You understand? So that is me. So you can check my other videos and you see this. Okay. Um, coming back to this, the smart earnings tip, uh, earnings uh, management. You have to be very careful about it. Because it's dependent, uh, it's, also, it's also one of the factors which Google will close your account. You have to be very mindful and set a earnings limit on the account you want to work on. Okay, so now coming to the last tip, and I will come to the end of, end of this video. And do when to subscribe to this YouTube channel, share this video to others. All right, and drop in your comment section any problem you are facing with Google AdSense, AdSense loading, or AdSense arbitrage. I will attend to you in the comment section for free any of your problem but if you're having deduction issues or whatever whatever problem you are facing drop it in the comment section and i'll assist you do well to share this video to your groups and everybody so the last tip here is staying ahead of trends you know staying ahead of trends you have to you have to be updated you know you have to find the mentor which will guide you okay or even if you have a really a really uh, loading strategy you should always work more on research by improving and updating your loading method because Google is very smart and they will detect any wrong or a loophole in your method. And that is why I keep on saying I have updated my method and my students should get my updates. So if you want me to be a mentor and guide you uh, through your AdSense loading journey, you want to make a lot of money from Google AdSense and you want me to guide you, all right? You can check the description box of the video and click the link to join my masterclass and it's a lifetime uh, uh, training. You don't have to pay again those that are really my students you don't have to pay me again and i keep on updating you so you make money and make more money from google adsense okay so if you go through my channels and you are interested and you are inspired with the earnings i may i show here the earnings proof i show here and the any proofs of my students uh show also on this uh, channel on this uh, channel do well to subscribe to youtube channel and contact me join the masterclass and become the millionaire <laughs> join us let us make millions together all right so i'll come to the end of this video please uh these tips are very important and if you use them in your method you won't have any issues especially the smart earnings management you have to be mindful don't allow greed to destroy your account do not allow greed to destroy your account. So this is Bullion from Bullion Academy. 
have a nice day okay share my videos and uh, don't forget this is a promo i'm giving you guys a promo a free stores check drop your problem or your questions in the comment section and i'll attend them to, i'll attend to you there for free so have a nice day bye bye